So Endeavor is a giant size initiative. It's not just a building. It's one in which we bring interdisciplinary hands-on education to our undergraduate students, but also create a giant size maker space that allows them to innovate and invent their own, innovate the next company. So if you want to really get a world-class education, this is the kind of 21st century world that we live in, one that changes all the time. And so when we see this kind of the endeavor, it allows us to uh, integrate industry, co-ops, the world's greatest technologies, um, interdisciplinary conversations and communications. All of these things happen all in Endeavor. Yeah, they can be in engineering or techno engineering technologies as well. We also have architecture students working in there. So they actually ma they fabricate models and so forth like this too. And they'll be part of our teams. Uh, they often bring the kind of design component to us as well. So we see engineering technology as a big part of this. We have almost 800 students in engineering technology, and, as well as 3,000 in engineering. And so all of them will be, this will be part of the ingrained education that you get at Oklahoma State's College of Engineering, Architecture, and Technology. So industry has funded 50% of the, of the Endeavor uh, building, and the students, uh, change their fee structure so we, for, to provide the long-term operations of this kind of big endeavor. And so this means they have to pay more fees, but they're going to get the education of a lifetime, uh, unknown to most of the other students their age. So the education I'm getting at OSU is teaching me about all of the issues we have around the world, and it's teaching me how to solve them in a sustainable way with quality engineering practices. In this room, usually if you have a lab going on, um, a professor will bring students in, and they will turn on the flume and have students pretty much just watch the water flow and as they adjust different wavelengths and they adjust um, the different properties so you'll see like a layer of rocks as soon as the water runs down the rocks it's going to affect the water in a different way as if it was just running straight through so the students get to study that and we learn certain equations in class um, that will be applied through the flume and so students will watch it they'll write down what's happening and they get to see the data that comes up from the flume and then they take it back to class and learn how to apply that in their studies. After I graduate I'm wanting to go to grad school and pursue higher education and then long term I'd like to help provide clean access to water for everyone around the world.